嗨，欢迎大家好，我是李威，我们继续学习。哦，我有点兴奋，我很快学完了。这哦，我说学完，学完了这次课。OK， 上次的视频我们呃学习这些呃这批词汇。OK， 下一页，第二十课，第一百九十六页。学习词汇，我给你放大。我 ，Yeah, we already said this one, right? 我，我 meaning nest, nest or coop or something like that. 我，鸟窝、蜂窝，哎呀，蜂窝 beehive， 鸽子窝或夜窝 ，we talked about as well. 鸽子窝，鸽子窝，哦。Um, chi war, chicken coop, ah, uh, zay war. <laughs> Is that really a word? Zay war. If I wrote it down, I mean, I've written it down for a reason. I didn't just make it up. Zay war. Oh, there you go. Zay war. Zay war. Is that really? I'm not sure if that's used. <laughs> Sometimes you find words in dictionaries and so on, and they kind of exist in theory. <laughs> 呃，这个猫，呃，这个猫头鹰，呃，似乎不要这个窝子窝了，不要这个窝了。Mm -hmm. So the nest, yeah, I saw, a, saw an article recently for eagles' nests. Oh, this is a 猫头鹰。猫头鹰 is not an eagle; it's an owl. But I saw an article about an, an eagle's nest, and they're huge. <laughs> okay, next is pan. Um, this is pan. This is an. Um, yeah, what's the difference? I don't know. <laughs> so it's bank. Both of these are bank in the side of a river, or the side of a lake. Um, yeah. So what's the difference? Hmm. Chu pan, wu pan, qiao pan. I don't know. Qiao pan. I don't know. Let's have a have an investigation, shall we not? ChatGPT said, "Ni hao, ni hao ma." <laughs> yeah, <laughs> people don't usually say "ni hao ma." "Ni hao ma" is used for when you're like, "Ah,、oh, ni 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 hai hao ma, ni hao ma." How is one? Like, are you are you okay? Um, not not how are you? Um, pan. Um, actually, we'll get. So what's um. Um, can you can you help me differentiate and 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 piece? Okay, 当我们谈到呃河流、湖泊、湖泊或海洋时，岸指的是呃水域边缘的陆地。Okay, so an an is the bank. So. Let's look at images. Actually, and bank not in the sense where you store money. Okay, so this is Hai An, right? The Sea Bank. Um, this it seems An is a surname. Not sure. <laughs> um, maybe it's a Japanese surname. I don't think it's a surname in Chinese. Um, okay, so there's all different ants. These are all the banks.、Um, bank, not in, not where you store money. Wu an, wu an. The wu an is a thing, right? Wu an. So this is a lake bank, right? Lake, the bank, bank of a lake. Wu an, wu an,、um, and he an. River bank, he an. <laughs> An.、Um, you can also say a liang an. Ah,、um, oh, okay. So this looks like it's used metaphorically.、Um, liang an. Ah,、oh, okay. So it's the two sides of the this strait, right? Liang an. So Taiwan and mainland. <laughs> I don't want to get into anything too controversial.、Um, so. Um, Usually, I see this for rivers. So let's pick a river. Um, Changjiang. 
Now I'm at. Oh, there we go. That's a nice photo, isn't it? Wow, some of these are really nice. <laughs> okay, Changjiang, Liangan. Yeah, the two banks of the Changjiang, which in English we call Yangtze. I guess that comes from um, from Cantonese or something, because that's not Mandarin, to my knowledge. Um, okay, Liangan. Okay, so what is Pan? Pan. Side edge boundary. Yeah, I don't know. So let's see what ChatGPT says. Uh, and you just see her being the um, Lu Lu Di. A tongue tongue shi, Yemen Jan Li. Shu si ho ho dong the di. Jan Li. Like settlement or something? Like <laughs> this is Jan Li is like, oh, people are standing on the bank. Like Obi Wan Kenobi, I have the high ground. <laughs> um, okay, R Pan, Zhuo Shiji Shui Yu, Pang Bian De Ah Yi Pian Qu Yu. Tongchang Yong Yu Shi Shi Ge Ho Wen Xue Zuo Pin Zhong. Oh, okay, so maybe they mean the same thing, but Pan is used in poetry. Ah uh, Hoda. And Judish Herbian the Epian Archie. So, so it's the pan is not is a whole region according to ChatGPT, whereas an was just the rim. Um, okay. Her pan. This is her pan. Ah, oh, so this is like river bank. So they're both banks in English. River bank. So you build things on a river bank, whereas you a uh, pan. Okay, that makes more sense. So you can put buildings on a river bank. Uh, here, pan. Riverside. Yeah. In Melbourne, there's a South Bank. Melbourne has ah oh, Melbourne. Melbourne has South Bank, which is a very trendy place. I'm pretty sure I've live streamed from there at some point. Here. Uh, very trendy, very expensive place near on the Yarra River. Okay, so more urban. More urban. More urban. Uh, so we'll call it Nan Pan. Let's call it Nan Pan. Queensbridge building. So this is on this on South Bank. Um, so let's just look at the Melbourne uh, Wikipedia article, see what comes up. There's no Nan Pan, right? I don't see Nan Pan. Um, okay, let's just look for the word Pan, the character Pan. There it is. Okay, uh, Yala He Pan. So this is the Yarra River. Yala He. It goes through Melbourne. Yeah. So is Pan on this? It's like He Pan Ji Qi Ju Liu Liang An. Okay. Uh, Jing Chang Zhao Kai Zhong Yao De Bu Luo Ji Hui. All right. Yeah, so this is it. This isn't the best photo of all time, but all right. <laughs> um, this is a city, Mel uh, yeah. So this is, so I guess this development area is He Pan, He Pan, and this little strip here counts as He Pan. Um, South Bank, well, if I click that, Ah, uh, it's also the name of a suburb that's an issue. And let's change it to Chinese. There is no Chinese? Oh, here it is. <laughs> Nan An. Yeah, they use Nan An. Uh, okay. Bush Nan Pan. So maybe there's no difference. I don't know. I can't tell the difference. I can't tell the difference between these two words. Um... 
All right. So shall we give up? <laughs> Sometimes it's just not worth knowing the difference. And maybe this is one of these cases. Uh, Leon F. Um, okay, what am I doing? So, yeah, the, oh, sorry. The side of a body of water, um, the, the land, like, adjacent to a body of water. Okay. And pan. Um, oh, this one's used more metaphorically. Oh, okay, so this is not necessarily related to water. I didn't know that. Tian pan. Lu pan. Ar pan. So this is the meaning, is it? Fu jin. Tongbian fu jin. The land edge, land border. Uh, okay, so the difference is... Okay, the difference is Han is broader. Um, so it doesn't need to be... Tian Pan. I still see water. Tian Pan. Side edge. All right. Um, hmm. The other one they used was Lu Pan. Side of a road. Lu Pan. All right. So this is. I don't know. <laughs> It's like a, um, a goal. <laughs> uh, what is it called? Shoe goal? Shoe? Something like that. All right. Uh, all right. I'm, I give up. I don't know what pen is. Most of the time I see it related to bodies of water, but it seems like tiao pan. Oh, tiao pan will be side of the bridge. So the, it seems like it's just a little broader. Oh, pan. Uh, why do I feel like I've seen this bridge before? Hebei Zhao Xian. Zhao Zhou Qiao. I feel like I've seen that bridge somewhere before. <laughs> uh, okay, let me get pan. Side of the bridge? I don't know. Yeah, all right, I give up. I give up. I don't know. Next is toyuan. Means what it says. It's the same in English and Chinese, I think. Ellipse oval, toyuan. Um, uh, what else do we need to know about toyuan? To. So what things are toyuan? So toyuan, ellipse oval, yeah. You often say toyuan xing. Oval shaped, um, oval shaped or toyen uh, lian. Uh, oval shaped face. Um, oh, yuan lian. Oh, that's round face. Where's toyen lian? Toyen xing lian. Okay. Toyen lian. Oval face. So if you wanted to get a haircut, you have to pay attention to the shape of your face. Um, Okay, what is this character? Or beyond. Is it used in any other words? Or. No, it's ellipse. Um, okay. What do we need to know about this character? You know Yuan, right? Yuan means circle. So what does Tor mean? Uh, Chang <laughs> Yun Xing, a long circle. Long circle is um, an ellipse. <clears> Toy <throat> Okay. So this is a special character that's been invented for the word ellipse. 
it looks like. Yeah, it means ellipse and nothing else. Okay. This character means ellipse and nothing else. Um, it, <clears throat> special character, this one. Um, it reminds me of the character from Coconut. Like, yeah, it's right. Are they different? How are they different? Um, oh, they're completely different. <laughs> Okay, so the similarities is that they have wood on the left and they have three components in, yeah, they both have three components from left to right. That's the similarity. But they're kind of different. And pretty much, aside from that, they're totally different. Tor Yuen, Tor Yuen, Tor. Um, okay, this is door. What is door? Sui. Um, does this, oh, sorry, I'm looking up the components. Does it belong to anything? Nope. Nope. Uh, <laughs> all right, so, good luck. <laughs> it's, it's a special word that may mean, a special character that means ellipse. Um... And yeah, there's no real hint as to why it's pronounced Tor. Hmm. Um, yeah, Mu, Shardor, Shuang, Shuang, Shuang Arapang, Duma, Mu Zipang, Shuang Arapang, Yo. No, 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 Yo. No, none of them have anything to do with Tor. I don't know. I've got nothing. <laughs> I've got no little. Nothing to connect it to, you know what I mean? It's for you in. Mm. It makes if you can make connections in your brain, like oh, that relates to this and that and this and that and that. It's much more stable. The knowledge is more stable. Okay, next is why biao why meaning external and biao meaning surface. Um, yeah, outward appearance, exterior. Why biao? Um, this isn't too bad. Yeah, so this is, you. if this sentence was completed, they'd probably criticize people. This means to judge people by their appearance. Yeah, this can then is like can they or look upon people. I can wai biao ta hao xiang mei bian. Yeah, from, from the exterior, he looks unchanged. A jiu quan chan pin. Why be our main one? Um, okay, so this product looks good on the outside. It's beautiful on the outside. Yeah, so there are quite a number of synonyms. Biao uh, mian, wai ma, yeah, etc., etc. Um, <clears throat> so what's the opposite of wai biao? Wai biao. So nei han, I'm guessing something like that. Nei han. Um, Cool. What is Ebiao? Appearance bearing meter. Biao Mian. Yeah, Biao Mian. Yeah, I tend to use Biao Mian. <laughs> so, okay, let's ask ChatGPT. What's the opposite of Wai Biao? So, if it says. Maybe it's Nei Zai. Uh, nee, hmm, what's the opposite of, or just ne? Why, Biao? External appearance, what would be the opposite? In ne, oh, ne zai. Ne zai, inner intrinsic. Yeah, ne zai. All right, well, that's why Biao. There's not much to say about this, really. <laughs> Next. Xiang Qian. This is a crazy hard uh, uh, word to write. Both characters are really hard. Xiang is hard because it has many, many strokes. And Qian is hard because it's kind of rare. Um, okay, Xiang Qian. So this is like a two character version. You can also just use Qian, if I'm not mistaken, by itself. Xiang Qian inlays, okay, set mount. Yeah. So you. <coughs> You have something and you kind of 
decorated in inside something else kind of thing like a frame so let's xiang tian uh, let's look at images xiang tian yeah so we have a an emerald or whatever and we put it in this ring so we xiang tian embed set yeah xiang tian xiang tian all right what things can be xiang tian xiang tian boli um is this like stained glass window is it Mm, okay, hua hua chuang bo li chuang maybe okay bo li chuang hua what does it get translated as? It's a bo li colored colored glass yeah um yeah xiang qian inlaid glass yeah this one makes sense inlaid glass not stained glass but inlaid glass <laughs> um okay what else can be inlaid Tuxing. this wasn't what i was expecting it's like escher painting like tessellations ah oh, it does say tessellation is one of the definitions okay so the it's kind of embedded in itself. <laughs> um, okay, these are tessellations. Xiang Qian Xing. All right, I didn't know that. Xiang Qian. So probably most of these. What's that one? Xiu Zi. Xiang Qian Xiu Zi. Xiu Zi is like wording or something like that. Xiu um, Zi. Rhetoric. No, I should say rhetoric. Xiang <laughs> Qian. What's, I don't know what that means. This is some linguistics concept. Um, okay, so what things can be like inlaid? Let's put that. So, so in, inlaid. Yeah, Cidron, ceramic tile. Or maybe this is mosaic. Yeah, this looks more like tessellation, doesn't it? Yeah, we looks like that's an important definition for this. <laughs> um, what's this? Uz Uzbekus Uzbekistan. Um this is the, I think I've been there. <laughs> I went to Tashkent once for a chess tournament. Um Okay. What's this? Masuke. Masaiko. Masaiko. Mosaic. Masaiko. So that seems similar. So, Xiang Qian. So this is inlaid in the sense of you stick things in concrete or whatever and glue them together. What do you call those macaroni art things? Mac. Macaroni art? No, art. Mm, just macaroni. Using macaroni to make paintings and things. Mm. Well, what do you call macaroni art? <laughs> it's a very... Tong... <laughs> Like, so this includes like, like, what is it? Paint, painting a like art. Maybe just say that. So this is, mm, so sometimes kids glue macaroni to paper to uh, make art like this to make a kind of painting 
So maybe maybe this concept doesn't exist in Chinese. I don't know how familiar Chinese people are with macaroni to begin with. Uh, yong, tong xin fen, tong xin fen, tong. Oh, okay. So there's tong feng de tong, right? So this is flowing. Xin is heart, but here it means inner, inside, right? Fen, fen, fen si, right? Like noodles or something. Uh, zuo yi shu. Okay, this might not be. Could you use? Could you call it a macaroni mosaic? Xiang Qian. Let's Google it. See if, see if people have made a macar macaroni mosaic. Not really. <laughs> oh, I now I feel like pasta. <laughs> All right. Um, so, all right. It's going to be a bit slow for a moment. Mm. I don't know why. My Wi-Fi is like this. It just, it goes fine and then it just pauses for a minute for no reason. Um, all right. So while we're waiting for that, let's have a look at Pleco. Yang Qian. It is a verb. It is a noun as well, right? We saw it meaning tessellation, so that's a noun. Tessellate also a verb, mosaic tessellate. So let's add that definition. Tessellate. I think it's also a noun, right? Not sure. This doesn't give any noun. Mm, all right, let's do tessellate. How do you spell tessellate? Tessellate. Tessellate. <clears throat> So what do we got here? Uh, so uh, is like a ring of some kind, probably a wedding ring, finger ring. <laughs> yeah, all right. <laughs> um, yeah, so it's inlaid with a precious stone. Bao shi. Xiang qian, xi gong. What is xi gong? Filigree or something? Fine worksmanship. Xiong Qian Yin Si Qi Qi. All right. Xiong Qian Zuan Shi Zuan Shi Zuan Shi de Wang Guan. So Wang King Guan Crown. So the crown of the king. Um, so a crown, a king's crown um, inlaid with diamonds. Embedded <laughs> with diamonds. Hmm. Maybe we've already seen all the ones we need to know, though. <laughs> Putting a, a precious stone in a ring and the mosaic one. And it, so, Xiang Qian, it is a verb and not a noun, it looks like. So, <clears throat> is Xiang Qian. A verb and not a noun. Xiang Qian is a indeed a verb that means to inlay or to embed. Let's see what happens if I search for this. Yong, using macaroni to make art. Um, why, why am I not seeing any macaroni art? Yeah, here. <laughs> macaroni art. But yeah, this one. Wow, that's really cool. It's not just macaroni. This is all sorts of pasta. Um, yeah, this is more like what kids make. <laughs> or this one. Um, this is macaroni art. So maybe Xiang <laughs> Qian. Is that really macaroni art? Well, some of these are intense. Uh, pretty impressive for the material used. <laughs> all right, all right. Um, all right. It looks like it's a verb and not a noun. Xiang mm. Qian. Oh, the other thing we need to know is Qian. Yeah, you can just get rid of it, right? Xiang Qian and is it Qian? 
What is the Xiang add? Xiang inlay in bed ridge water? Qian. Because you can use, use this one by itself, right? Qian ru. What does Qian ru mean? Qian ru. Insert in bed. Ah, also inserted. So this is looks like DNA, I guess. And there's insertions in the DNA. Um, Tian ru shi jia dian. Oh, okay, so these jia uh, dian, uh, these appliances are inserted into the countertop and so on. Um, yeah, rather than you put it on top of the counter. Inserted into the counter. Uh, okay, qian ru shi, qian ru shi kao xiang. Yeah, so, so in Australia, most people will have some, uh, an oven like this. So when you come to China, it's like, where are all the ovens? <laughs> I want to make some scones, but mm, yeah, it's not normal for people to have ovens here. Um, okay, have I ever seen someone with an oven? I don't think so. <laughs> um, it's also pretty rare to have a dishwasher as well. Um... Okay. Xian. Uh, Xian ru. Okay. How is used? Xian ru. No. Xian ru. I always get those wrong. Get it wrong. Xian ru. This video is already over. Xian ru. Xian ru. To. Uh. Wang Ye Zhong. So the video is already embedded into the web page. Okay, fair enough. <laughs> so the new function, they're embedding it into the um, program. Uh, yes, yeah, program. <laughs> or maybe app, app. <laughs> Okay, so the adverts are embedded in the movie. This is called product placement. All right. And how else can Xiangqian be used outside of the word Xiangqian? So this might not be a, maybe this one can function as a noun. Qian, that's a verb, okay. All right. This jubao xiang lian shang. Xiang man de zuan xie. Oh, okay, so xiang and xiang man, uh, xiang qian can... <coughs> We have both of those, right? So they both function as verbs with the same meaning. Okay. Uh, okay. Jigger Kai Fa Jo Chen Rule Xin de Gong Nang Dao Pla Pla Pla. Okay. So let's look at this. What if we just put this in here and see what comes up? That's what comes up. <laughs> How to write the character. Yeah, yeah. I think I could probably do this one. Because I've been practicing recently, but if I haven't been practicing yet, um, xiang, we do xiang, um, so okay, let's have a look at pleco and see what words we can figure out. This one first, xiang, does it function as a noun? Is one question, kind of. It also, yeah, it also means qian ru, so there's this one. Xiang jia ya, jia ya, jia ya. Xiang jia ya, right ma, xiang jia ya. To insert false teeth. Yeah, qun zi xiang hua bian. So it can, it looks like it can be a noun. Si xiang, quadruple border. All right, this looks like it's rare, though. 
Yeah, it looks like it's very rare to use it outside that. Right? Um, and Qian. Nei Qian. So it looks like for Xiang, you only need to know Xiang Qian. And when Xiang is used by itself, it kind of means Xiang Qian. And um, Qian, you need to know Xiang Qian and Qian Ru. Mm. All right, so what is this character? Oh, okay, that's not helpful. Mm. So it looks like you're just on your own again with this character. How do you remember it? I, I don't know. <laughs> At least with Xiang, there's a lot of characters that have this. I don't know if that's by a character by itself. Not sure. Thought of. <laughs> um, yeah. So wrong. Nigga be wrong, They might don't shout. Too wrong. We studied that one already, right? Too wrong. I don't know this one. Um, yeah, <laughs> maybe just those two, Turang, uh, Turang, Bierana, and, um, Xiang Qian. Okay. All right, what's next? What's this? Qian Xiang? Is that a word? Uh, Xiang Qian. Tianxiang seems to be a word. It's not in the dictionary. Tianxiang Hua. Yeah, all right. It's not in the dictionary, so let's not worry, worry about it. All right, next. Um, Jinying. Jinying. Um, hard, solid. Yeah. Kind of like... It's solid as, a pl as opposed to flexible, flimsy. Jinying. It's... Um, it's not solid in this as opposed to liquid or gas. It's solid as in, oh, this is a solid disk kind of thing. It's hard. <laughs> um, what things are jian ying? Maybe diamonds. Diamonds are jian ying. Um, yeah. Duan <laughs> shi, right? Uh, okay. Shi jie shang. Shi da zui jian ying de cai liao. Jian ying. So what's this? Is this tungsten or something? So let's look it up. What are the top 10 hardest things? Uh, yeah, phys in, this, in the physics concept. Uh, okay, I think it's called the Mo scale or something like that. Is this me? Maybe I'll click on that one and see what comes up. What are the 10 hardest things in the world? Um, so, yeah, open it. Okay, the Zuan Shi. Wait. So, Zuan Shi. Okay, of course it's hard. Zuan Shi diamonds. Um, but why is this in 10th place? I should say the Shi. The. Hold on, hold on. Alright. Spider webs. Or well, spider silk would be better. is hard. Maybe. <laughs> Um, 具有非常高的, uh, yeah, this is not Jianyin. I think whoever wrote this article was a bit confused of what Jianyin means. What's this? This is Tan or Tan. Carbon. They're probably thinking of like carbon nanotubes or something. I don't know. Carbon. Like, to begin with, this is carbon. <laughs> All right, this is probably tungsten, I guess. Or uh, osmium. Okay, or uh, I learned a new character. Or uh, osmium. A lot of the characters... <laughs> I should learn the periodic table at some point and up my um, science game. Or she... Bo zu. So this is platinum family, is it? Bo zu. Platinum family de jin shu hua xie yuan su. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, so this is really hard, apparently. 
ok, ma shi ti, ma shi ti, shi, wo shi xiao gang, so this knife is especially, but what is the material though, not, uh, anyway, jin shu bo li, metal glass, what is metal glass? I don't know, that. What is this? Xin. Oh, no. Xin, xin, xin. Okay, xin, xin, kuang, xin. Dan hua peng, peng is boron. <laughs> All right. This one looks theoretical, but let's see. Liu fang jin gang shi. Liu fang jin gang shi. It's a different type of diamond. Um, okay, Shu Mo Xi Graphene. I don't know this one. Uh, okay, Liu Hua Tan. Liu Hua. Liu Hua, second time. Liu Hua, sulfurized carbon, carbon sulfide. And this character, I don't know. Where? Chue? <laughs> Chue? All kind. <laughs> All right. That was not very satisfying. That was like the least satisfying. Diamond. Pick diamond is the hardest substance. Jian ying. Ying is hard. Jian is. Jian yuan. Oh, durable. Jian yuan. Jian. Solid, strong, firm, unyielding, resolute. Ah, oh, yeah. Your jian shi. This is not giving up. Whereas Ying is Jiang Ying, the this one Jiang Ying stiff, <laughs> Jiang Ying stiff rigid, this kind of thing. All right. So where were we? Uh, Jian Ying, Jian Ying meaning hard, describes substances. Hmm. Yeah. Mm. What have I got here? Zuan shi shi yi zhi de zui jian ying de kuang shi. Um, how? Tai yang ba da di shai de jian ying. Oh, okay, so the, the ground became hard because it was this lack of moisture, I guess. Hmm. Okay, next. Gong yi pin. This one's not too bad. This one's. This is just gong yi pin. Gong. There you go, like handicrafts or something like that. Gong Yi Pin. Gong Yi. Handicraft article. Handiwork. Handiwork, that's a good term. What do they translate it as? Hardware handiwork. Yeah, handiwork. Handiwork's a good uh, translation. So, um, yeah. Gong. I guess this is Shou Gong or Gong um, Yi art. Pin products. So gong worked art products. Um, there's also shu gong pin, right? This is handmade products. Um, or maybe is it shou yi? Yeah, shou yi. Shou yi. So this is handmade art. Shou yi. Shou yi. So usually it's quite expensive. Um, because the artist will have spent a long time perfecting their craft. Um, okay, show e. Anyway, um, gong yi pin. That's not too bad, is it? Next is mei guan. Um, honestly, I don't encounter this very often. Ming shi piaoliang. Pleasing to the eye. Mei guan. Okay. I mean, if I saw that, if I saw this word in the wild and didn't know what it meant, I would assume may meaning beautiful, guan pertaining to like observation. So beautiful observation, I would assume it's an adjective say, saying some, describing something as beautiful. The guan is probably guan guang related to sightseeing. Um, so I just naturally infer it describes scenery as beautiful. Yeah, rather than people. 
Meng Li would be people. That's my impression. So it's an adjective. I'd naturally interpret this as an adjective because Mei is kind of like Hao Kan, right? Hao Kan is an adjective. Good to look at, right? It's an adjective meaning, I don't know, beautiful or something. It looks good. Um, whereas Mei Guan is beautiful to observe. <laughs> uh, what things are Mei Guan? Uh, so let's put in Yishu Pin. Oh yeah, that's another one. Gong Pin, Yishu Pin. Yishu Pin is articles. Yishu Pin. Mei Guan de Niu Tou. Yishu Pin. Yeah, okay, so these are Mei Guan. So beautiful to observe. Ho Ma. <laughs> Uh, okay, oh, Bu Xiu Gang He Ma, stainless steel hippo. <laughs> All right. Wasn't expecting a stainless steel hippo, I can tell you. Um, Jin Zhu Wu, beautiful architecture. Architecture in the sense of building. Um, this is like in Minecraft, right? That looks all right, though. Not bad for a Minecraft build. Um, at least it's not a dirt house. So apparently these are beautiful uh, examples of beautiful architecture. Sometimes some of them I'm a bit dubious, <laughs> not so beautiful, but all right. Um, Hua Yuan, a beautiful garden, or beautiful garden landscape. Let's see what we make one. Yeah, I think that you could call that make one. Um, okay. Um, sure, nay, zhong shi, inter, okay, beautiful interior decoration. Okay, looks kind of meg one. Beautiful to observe. Um, wu zhong shi ji, so, clothing design, fashion design. This is meg one. Not sure this can count as meg one. Are there any examples here? Mei Guan. Wu Zhang Shuo Ji Tu, a Ruha Kwai Su, Mei Guan de Yao Da. Hmm. All right. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, let's do the calligraphy. Because that sounds cool. <laughs> Whoops. So this is beautiful calligraphy. This is Biang, 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 Mean Biang, right? No, it's not. Um, completely wrong. It's not Biong. I mean, it's, it's one of these combined characters. It's probably like Gong Si Fa Tsai or something like this. Um, I don't know. Wu <clears throat> Lan. I don't recognize that one. Shema Tang. Ning Jing Ju. <laughs> it's really hard. Ding. Um, tranquility, peace. Fu Shou Tong Chun. What does that mean? Fu Shou Tong Chun. Kam Dong. Okay, this is Mei Guan. Mei Guan Mei Shi Bai Pan, oh, a food presentation. So maybe this is like a banquet, and you just look at it, it's like, oh, wow. This is not Biang, I shouldn't call it that. It's something else. It isn't R. So sometimes multiple characters are combined into one character, and I think that's that one. You know what that is? Anyway. Meg one, Meg one, beautiful to observe. So you wouldn't describe observe um, for humans. Yeah. Okay. Next is bieji. It's another adjective. Bieji meaning like exquisite, exquisite. Um. Bieji. What things are bieji? I don't know. We'll Google it. And we'll, we'll Google it and we'll find out. Bieji. 
I think it's like like works of art, really. Gyeji. That didn't help very much. Um, Gyeji. Okay, what things? What what can be described as Gyeji? Unique. Oh. Okay, it was not what I was expecting. Unique or novel. I didn't get the unique novel. Um... Okay, uh, so let's look at the edge. So these are unique pieces. That they don't look all that fancy like smoking. Um Okay, uh Chao Shou Go Chu Bieji. Go is that knitting? Crocheting. Chu Bieji Shoi Shou Gong Yi Okay. So let's do this. Uh, 珠宝, 珠宝饰品. 珠宝, what is 珠宝? Pearl decorated something. <laughs> um, so 别界, so it seems 别界 emphasizes the uniqueness. I didn't get that in the past. 装饰品, ornament. Okay, let's look at unique ornaments. That is a unique ornament. It's like a bird's nest. So, a vase or something? A carafe? It's not especially unique. What's that? That's a unique ornament. <laughs> I don't know what it is. It's that unique. Okay. So, Yeji emphasizes its uniqueness. Xinning. Xinning is what I use for new and original uniqueness. Novel. Novel, not the type of novel you read. Why is there two? Yeji. Unusual, unique. Um, my uh, my textbook has the trend the exquisite exquisite but maybe that that's another word in Chinese so beer beer often means other right um bier or gao bier uh gao bier is different um bier chu bier this is a, Bieji. I remember a word with ni. Xini or xini. Is it? Exquisite. Xini. Xini is better for exquisite. Yeah. Okay. And bieji is emphasizes its uniqueness. Um. What synonyms are there for Bieji? Yeah, that's what I would say. Xinying, special. Yeah, I could use that one. So this functions as an adjective as well. Uh, okay. Okay. Uh, not going with the flow or something, not going with the crowd. Uh, no, unlike fan, ordinary xiang, ringing, fan xiang, ordinary tones, okay. Xin qi, yi hu xun chang, du ju jiang xin, oh, I like that one. All right. 
So I'm going to delete this. So delete exquisite, because this has confused me for a long time. I'm going to delete exquisite. Exquisite was better with Simi. Do I know how to write Simi? Probably not. Uh, I'll, I'll give it a try. Um, Simi. So me is yeah, right? And then there's this kind of this. It's like it's a weird character. Sini. The me, yeah, and it's like the two. <laughs> if I remember correctly. Hey, I got it. Me. Yeah. So this one is the a uh, two that you use in banking, right? <gasps> yeah, this one. <laughs> this one. It's used in banking. It, because it's easy to fake writing two if you just write two horizontal strokes like that. All right. Um, okay. Uh, here I've written Shinchi. All right, Xin Qi. All right, Jin Pao. Jin Pao. Yeah, this is to soak. Jin Pao. So you can soak your feet, or you can soak a cloth. Jin Pao. Jin and Pao. Let's have a look. Okay, first of all, let's look at Jin Pao. Yeah, I like images. Jin Pao. Oh, dong da dong da dong. The sing chua zai nani? This is the sing chua ma? This is the ding dong chua. I just want to判断 Oh, now this is the sing chua ma. Check the new images. Oh, there's a new image of the sing chua. I didn't see it. Oh, okay, so they're jin pao-ing um, like herbs or vegetables or something. Jin pao yo de ju zuo. So they're soaking it in oil. Jin uh, pao. Jin pao. Oh, okay. So they're soaking the tea bag, right? So this is more like um, deep. Yeah, infuse, infuse. Jin pao. So there's different types of jin pao. Uh, Jin pao jiu, jin pao cafe, infused coffee, jin pao cafe. Oh, this is like a coffee bag, is it? I didn't realize that was a thing. Um, uh, what else is it? Cafe bao? I didn't know that was a thing. Coffee bag. What is jin pao jiu? Oh, you soak something in alcohol. I think I tried something like this. Some kind of alcohol, and it had ginseng in it. Jiangshin? Uh, Something like that. It's a snake. It's a... It's, a, it's an infused snake. It's the olives, right? Gan man. Pao jiu. Pao jiu. Zhuan yong. Okay. So a snake soaked in alcohol. All right, pao. Um, pao by itself has a few meanings. Mm, this one, pao meaning froth bubbles. Um, yeah, pao pao, xiao pao pao, chui pao pao, chui pao pao, chui pao pao, chui pao pao. This one, chui pao pao. Yeah, kids like doing this, chui pao pao. Uh, what's that? This is just a pao mo, pao mo, pao mo. Okay, the froth on your coffee. Oh, pao mo su liao. So this is also pao mo. Bubble plastic. Um, you get it at the beach as well. Ah, uh, here we are. Pao mo. Not necessarily that extreme though. Pao mo bubbles. Um, pao, pao. Hmm. Pao cai. Pao cai is kimchi, right? Um, or the Chinese equivalent of kimchi. Pao cai. Hmm. 
depending on which country you're in. Or Tsai. Okay, and Jin Pao. We're looking at Jin. Hmm, Jin. Aside from Jin Pao, that's about it, isn't it? Why are they being flooded? Shui Jin. Immerse soak steep. This is some kind of ritual, it looks like. I don't know what that is. Jin Pao. All right, what what do Jin Pao and the team to in Jin Pao? Soak immerse steep. Okay, Jin Pao. Pao oh, is a verb, right? Uh, sorry, is a noun. Oh, but it also means to soak. Okay. Oh, there's one other one. Do you know Yang Rou Pao Mo? Yang Rou Pao Mo. Rou Pao Mo. Mo is mandal. <laughs> uh, sorry, let me find Mo. It's Yang Rou Pao Mo. So, oh, this is Yang Rou Pao Mo. This is, yeah, Shanxi. You can eat Yang Rou Pao Mo. So, Pao meaning soak, Mo is mandal. Right, is it is the Shanxi way of saying uh, mantle. Or maybe it's a little bit different in some way, I don't know. So you soak the bread. So when you, I remember getting this the first time, and they give you the bread, and you break it into little bits and soak it in the dish. Um, yeah, you break it apart and put it in the dish. The and palm war. Yeah, so okay, so it seems like they've already pre broken this bread. Okay, yeah, roll palm more. Um, so this is pao as well. Yang roll is lamb. Uh, I guess mutton, people from non Australian countries, we don't often say mutton in Australia. Jin pao, jin pao. Jin means immerse soak. Um, all right, can I get you? Yeah, so can you miss? Jin Pao and Jin Pao. Okay, uh, Taba Mao Jin, Mao Jin, Mao Jin, first time, Taba Mao Jin, uh, Jin Zai Ruo Shui Zhong, uh, uh, Bei Xi, Xi Zhao. Um, okay, I don't understand the connection of why she is soaking the towel in preparation for a bath. Maybe she needs a wet towel for her, her bath for some reason. Um, Okay, so she's soaking the towel in hot water. Bai Yu Kuo, Jin Zai Jiang Jiang Ju Zhong. So you take chunks of fish and soak them in Jiang um, Ju, like this would be like marinade or something. Jiang Ju sauce, something in that ballpark. Zai Bing Shui Zhong, Pao Pao Mian, Wu Fen Zhong, Pao Pao Mian. What is this? Oh, pao, pao mian. Pao mian is feng bian mian. Okay. Pao means to soak. Pao mian. Pao pao mian. Wu fen zhong. Why would you soak it in cold water though? Ren hong. Zhu ru. So, so maybe long shui is just room temperature water. Ba cha ye. Pao zai ru shui zhong. Yeah. So take the tea leaves and soak them in hot water. And this one, uh, ba dozi, qin pao, no, jin pao, jin pao zai shui zhong, guo ye. So take the beans and soak them in water overnight. Ba yi fu, jin pao zai xi ye zhong. So take the clothes and soak them in um, washing up liquid, laundry detergent. Okay. All right, next, what have we got? Zhe guai. 
Um, yeah, I, you can also just say why to blame. Um, it's an accusation. It's really quite rude. So why? So why? So why? Yeah, we all so why? He is his fault. He is what wrong? Yeah, so why? You can also say "guai" by itself. "Guai wo," be a "guai wo." Um, be a "guai wo." Yeah, be a "guai wo." Don't blame me. Be a "guai." What on earth is that? Be a "guai." No, ke be "guai." Ke be "guai wo." Xin lang shou la. Oh, okay. So they're kind of enacting out a chung or something. Ah, <laughs> oh, okay, vicious and merciless. Okay, so this sort of thing is a joke. Um, this appears to be a meme uh, in Chinese. Like you do something silly that's not all that crazy. And, um, but it, people find it a little bit weird. So the teachers are asking how much your parents make. That's not really appropriate, is it? Um, uh, you call Guai. Okay. So guai. So guai is just. Hmm. So guai is a two-character version of that, right? But blame. This is seems more firm to me. Yeah. Guai wo. Guai. Uh, so guai. Blame. Rebuke. Zo. The zo is fu zo de zo. So there's probably a connection there. So zo maybe pertains to responsibility here. You should have done something and didn't do it or something. What I blame, I rebuke. Rebuke is a bit formal. Okay, blame yourself. Yeah, okay, okay. You know, guai is qi guai de guai. Qi guai. Qi guai de guai. Okay, I need to use the bathroom for a second, so just a minute. All right, I'm back. I'm so guai. Okay, next is hey. All right, I think you can figure out that one. <laughs> hey. Interjection. Um, yeah, it just means. Hey, hi. <laughs> hey, hi is hi as well. Um, this is hey. What is hi? Hi. Oh, is this hi? H A. Wait a minute. Hey. Well, let's look. Uh, this is hey. This one. Hey. What they wrote is hi. No, hey. They wrote the wrong one. <laughs> it's the wrong character. Hi. <laughs> uh, do you understand? Like, here. They wrote, hey, it's the opinion, but this, this character is hi. It was a mistake. Um, okay, so this character is hi. Whereas hey is this one is coal and hey. yeah. So this one is hey. Yeah. This character this is hi. <laughs> Maybe they meant to write this character. I don't think this can be pronounced hi uh, hey. This uh, hi. Oh, no, I think it gives hey here, so maybe. Hi. Yeah, I think of it as hi. 
Hmm. Can it be pronounced hate? It, I mean, it doesn't really matter. <laughs> hey, the other one, this is what I think of. Hey. 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 <laughs> hey, Dongjin. Yeah. All right. Anyway, it's not, it doesn't, what really matters is that it's a sound. It sound that sounds like hey. So when you're speaking, you can just say hey, hi, uh, hello, hello. The kind of uh, onomatopoeia. They wrote hi, hi. Yeah, I think they want, so what is the context in the, uh, it should be the other character. It should be this character. Hey. Yeah, I don't think that's correct. <laughs> anyway, it's it's really unimportant. Yeah, with hey, it's just a, a grunting sound. Of the various grunting sounds. There is a lot of them. Yeah. <clears throat> Um, yeah, so when I practice my my characters, I use uh, some uh, character writing. I do things like this. Let me. I'll just show you how many there are. It's like a whole page of these. I was went through not that long ago. Yeah, here. Hey. <laughs> uh, there's many, many, many. Yeah, there is a whole page. Of them. Whoa. <laughs> I'll get around to them. But most of them are just kind of, they have the coal on the left, and they they have um, a phonetic component which tells you how to pronounce it, and usually their first tone. So usually, even if you don't know them, you can kind of guess. Hey, hey. Yeah, so you have a coal, um, and then you... <laughs> Yeah, you have a finity component and first tone. Most of first tone, not all. Um, yeah, you've probably used like Billy Billy. Do you know the website Billy Billy? That's a good example. Billy Billy. It's a. It's like YouTube, right? Billy Billy. This one, Billy Billy. I don't think these words, these things, actually mean anything. But when you read it, Billy Billy. So. The pronunciation is on the right, right? It has the call on the left. And you pronounce it first tone. Bidi bidi. <laughs> so that's how you remember these sets of characters. Um, a few of them are not first tone, but lots of them are. <laughs> okay, anyway, next. Zhu Fu. Paternal grandfather. Yeah, Zhu Fu. You do get this. Zhu Fu, Zhu Mu. Um, Zhu Fu. Oh, this is paternal grandparents. Father's mother and it seems also exists. Um, so is there a mother's father, mother's um, mother? Is there a maternal equivalent of Zufu. Oh, Okay, we need to know that too. Oh, can you so we've learned like like ten words all at once here. Zufu, Zumu, Zufu Mu. Uh six. Okay, I'm not good with numbers. Um, okay, so let's jot down Wai Zhu Fu. I want to put them all down. Maybe I'll just put it over here somewhere near these chickens. Sorry, I had some pens obstructing my textbook. So we have Zhu Fu. Zu, mu, zu, fu, mu, 
um, and Huang. Zhu Fu. Huang. Zhu Mu. Oops. And Wang. Wang Zhu Fu Mu. And can you say why Nei Zhu Fu Mu? I'm not sure. Oops, I wanted to write Wang again, didn't I? So I pres maybe there's no Nei Fu Mu. <laughs> It's just why so mu. All right, six words. There you go. We learned six words today. So fu, so mu, so fu mu. Why so fu? Why so mu? Why so fu mu? I don't know. When you say when you say grandparents, you often have to say something like um. Like la 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 yeah 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 tai tai <laughs> something like that. Mm -hmm. So just say them all all four of them, mm -hmm. just to mean grandparents. And in English, grandparents yeah refer to any of your four grandparents. Mm -hmm. All right. Where is it? Why your external, your external, your external paternal grandfather? <laughs> all right. Mm -hmm. All right, this one. Cheng Yu, Fei Qin Wang Xu. Okay, first let's look at Wang. Wang is forget. Xu is food. Forget food. Uh, actually, Xu can also mean to eat. Here it means to eat. So you forget to eat. Fei Qin. Um, okay, Fei is kind of abolish. Um, Qin. Qin, kind of a rare character, but it means like you're lodging or something like that. So, eating and sleeping? Um, sleeping, okay. So let's look at it character by character. It is lodging, right? Uh, sleep, okay, sleep. So you abolish sleep. Okay, it is just sleep. Okay. I don't think we use this. We use wa uh, like wash if bedroom and shui jiao to actually sleep. Um, I feel like this is kind of archaic. All right. So fei fei meaning to abolish. Let's go back. Yeah. Fang qi bu yong. Okay. Give up. Abandon. Don't use it. Ping jiu. Stop. Cease. So you cease sleep, forget food. That's what it literally means. It just means you're, it's usually to describe someone who's busy. They're so busy that they don't have time to sleep or eat. Quite often used in hyperbole. Um, yeah. All right, I didn't find it. Fei Qin. Now I have to go through the character by character. Wang. Xu Shu de Xu. Fei Qin Wang Xu. Yeah. Um, here we go. Fei Qin Wang Xu. So this guy is busy studying, forgets to eat and sleep, or at least doesn't. So yeah. Fei Qin Wang Xu. So it seems most this mostly this is referring to people who are busy studying. Beating <laughs> one shi. But I think you're gonna use it for busy working and so on. Beating one shi. Um let's look at some examples. Beating one shi. So, so when you study Chong Yu, you need to pay attention to how they're used. They're, many of them are very unique. You can't just use them willy-nilly. You need to know the context. You need to know the grammar. Um, yeah, you can't just use them and hope that they're correct. Um, this is like a lot of people, when they start learning Chinese, they, they're keen to learn Chong Yu and so on. And then they use it and it's like, mm, it 
it's used in a very narrow context. Um, this one's fairly widely used. So here it looks like it's functioning as a verb. Uh, okay. 制作模型火车是他废寝忘食的爱好. No, I, I, I was wrong. It's an adjective modifying this. Or no. No, I, maybe it is a verb. So it's a verb and it combines with ta. And this modifies aiha, right? So it's his consuming passion, not his consuming passion. I think that's how it works. 常常是, okay. 他学习如此努力,常常是废寝忘食. Okay, so here it's kind of as a verb, right? Uh, as a noun, right? Hmm, 别废寝忘食. So this is a verb. Um, 勤奋者,废寝忘食. Hard workers. Hard workers um, do this. Lazy people, 总是没有时间. Never have time. <laughs> Uh, no, it's being used as an adjective to describe this. So that would mean this is also being used as an adjective to describe this. So it's used as an adjective. Here it's used as a, uh, an adverb. So working... Uh, without rest. For three months, she studied, she successfully studied Latin. Mm, okay, so it, this one's fairly flexible, isn't it? So M Newton would often work with tirelessly, kind of as a verb. Verb, this is kind of like a noun. Hmm. Yeah, it has unique grammar. All right, where were we? Mm. I think fei, yeah, wang and shi. You probably know, but maybe, maybe, um, but you need to know shi can be used as a verb to mean to eat. Um, so, so fei meaning abolish. Um, to, uh, fei qi, right? Um, yeah, there's fei hua. <laughs> fei hua is more nonsense words. Um, qin, qin, I do not know this character very well. I just think of it as fei qin wang shi de qin. It's also kind of hard to write as well. Okay, next is uh, qin jian. Yeah. Okay. 勤俭,勤俭的勤 is 勤劳的勤, right? 勤, 勤 means just industrious. Uh, so, whoops. The 勤, I only ever see this character in the word 勤俭, and no other words, 勤俭. So, let's see. 勤俭, 节俭, oh, actually, I have seen this one. 节俭, no, I said the wrong thing. I have seen that one. Yeah, but that's kind of from Jian Jian Yes. Okay. So Qin Jian and Jie Jian. What does it actually mean? Jie Sheng, Gun, like a sure to the sure, Xiang Xiang Dui, the opposite of sure. Thrifty frugal. Economical. So, what's the relevance here? What's the relevance with Indian? Indian. Hardworking and thrifty. Ah, okay. So that's the definition. Qin lao jie jie dian. Qin lao jie dian. So, oh, okay. So, so here, for example. 勤勤俭俭的过日子,勤俭建国. So you work hard and don't spend very much or don't waste. 
Oh yeah, so it was opposite of luxuries. So you forego luxuries. Okay. Let's write down the definition. What's that? Um, oh, I've already got the definition here. Tian lao. Tian pu. Um, okay, so Tian lao, industrious, hardworking. Tian pu. Tian pu is like, yeah. Seems there is another word for Tian pu. Another word including Tian. Tian pu. Yeah. Non extravagant. <laughs> Something like that. Mm. All right, next is fu yu. Fu yu, adjective, meaning, I don't know, rich. <laughs> Basically, well off, well to do, fu yu. Mm. Um, pertains to like money. Fu yu. Fu yu. Mm. Yeah. Fu yu. Mm. What's this? Shen jia fu yu. Mm. Fu Yu. Which one should I look at? Feng Tong Fu Yu. Fu Yu. Prosperous well off. No. Fu Yu. Anyway, Fu Yu. This one pertains to money. Let's look at the characters individually. Fu Yu. Fu, you probably know from Feng Fu. Plentiful, abundant Feng Fu. Fu, rich, abundant, wealthy. Fu Yu. And this one, Yu. Um, what's what's this used in? Yu. Um, I'm not sure. I don't recall seeing it in other words. Fu Yu to Yu. Yu. Fu Yu. Fu Yu. I don't know that one. Mm, I don't know, maybe you, it's just who you to you. I don't know these other words. What it chong you? Yeah, chong zu fu you. It's kind of like an abbreviation. <laughs> Your chong you de shi tian. Anyway, that's it then. Fu you. Meaning, well off. It It's about money, right? <laughs> Yeah, tai wu, tai wu. Okay, property belongings. Oh, so not just money. Feng fu, chong yu. All right. Xiong huo, fu yu, prosperous. Fu yu, shou hui, prosperous society, affluent. Yeah, it's not just prosperous. It's like rich kind of thing. Ri zi guo de ting, fu yu. Uh, uh, this is metaphorical. Affluent. Affluent may be better. Ah, oh, okay, there's this enrich. I don't know, I'd use chong uh, shi here. Okay, so affluent might be better. It, let's say affluent. Affluent. Like full of luxuries and so on. Rich, luxurious kind of thing. Not okay. Next is Nong Li. Um well, it, it is what it says. Nong Li. Lunar calendar or agricultural calendar? Nong. Nong Ming de Nong. Nong Li. Um so there's a few dates in the lunar calendar you need to know. Um what's that? It's an Oreo, an Oreo clock. Um, Nong Li. Uh, um, so Li is calendar. Um, what other calendars are there? What other calendars are there than Nong Li? Gong Li. So this would be the Gregorian calendar, right? Gong Li. So Nong Li and Gong Li, uh, Islam Li. Um, okay, so this is the Muslim calendar, right? Or Islamic calendar? Um, I know there's like an Islamic New Year, right? What is this? Xibo Lai Li, Hebrew calendar. Hindu Li, Bo Li. Ah, is the Persian calendar and the Muslim, uh, the Islam calendar different? 
Um, okay. So, what was I thinking? So, Nong Li. And what are some, what are some key dates in the Nong Li? Chunjie, Nong Li, Zheng Ye Ji Yi, Ye Zheng Ye. Oh, no, I get it. I always get this wrong. Zheng Ye. This is one of the rare cases where Jung is pronounced first tone. It maybe it's the only kind of thing. Jung Yue Chui, first day of the year, is Chun Jie, the first day of the year, right? Hold on, is Chun Jie the first day of the year? So in Western culture, you celebrate the last day of the year. <laughs> um, Chun Jie, but Chun Jie also pertains to the whole like two week. Um, celebration, right? Nong Li, Zheng Yue, Shu, Yuan Xiao Jie. Nong Li, Si Yue, Chu Si, Chu, or Chu, this is Qingming Jie. Yeah, this is coming up in early April. Could be today, actually. Qingming <laughs> Jie. Si Yue, Si Yue, Jin Tian Shi, Si Yue, Wu Yue. Oh, it was yesterday. <laughs> 就是昨天，嗯，是传统的中国节日，用于呃葬呃祭拜，在祭拜祖先和呃扫扫墓，扫墓，嗯，端午节，OK，中秋节， okay, so different, they're based on um the lunar calendar, and what about the Easter? Uh, what calendar is that based on? Hmm. I mean, in Chinese. I don't know. What's, what's the calendar called in Chinese? But it changes. Oh, I'm getting it wrong. Oh, it's not. It's just the first something. The sun, first Sunday following the full moon. And the vernal equinox. <laughs> uh, I feel like I don't know what that means, but it's probably. Uh, Is the vernal equinox the same date in the northern and southern hemisphere? It sounds seems not. Chunfen. Yeah, Nanbanchu. So it's the northern hemisphere's vernal equinox. Probably a point where a season changes to another season or the exact middle of a season or something like this. Uh, autumn. So it's the direct middle of winter and summer, is it? In the middle of autumn. Okay. <laughs> anyway. What's next? Nong Li, yeah, Nong Li. Um, so you need to know Nong Li when when they tell you about like um, holidays and so on, these, these festivals. Uh, but by and large, China uses the Gregorian calendar, just with a few exceptions for like Chun Jie, Yuan Xiao Jie, and so on. Okay, next Jiang Jin, um, Nie Jiang Jin. There's also Jie Jin, right? Why have I written this? Sorry, I just noticed that Yin Ni. What is Yin Ni? I don't know what Yin Ni is. Oh, it's another word. Oh, Yin pertaining to moon. Okay, that makes sense. Yin Ni. So there's Yang Ni. This is the solar calendar. Oh, okay. All right. All right. So let's look at moon. 
pertaining to mood. All right, next, Jiangjin. Uh, Jiangjin, uh, close to nearly. Yeah. So, Jiangjin. So, it's used for physical distance, right? So, you, uh, you come close to me. It's also used for like numerical distance, like these numbers are getting closer together. Um, I think it's used. For, let's check. Jiangjin. And maybe it's also used for time. So almost a pound of cheese. She likes her cheese. <laughs> so almost a year. Almost that. This is almost. So she's almost 90. Okay. So let's look at Jiang Jin. Um, can it be used for. Uh, um, okay, I feel. I think it can be used for physical closeness. Closeness with respect to time and numerical closeness. Maybe I. Mm, Tamanja, a di shi xiao, a jiang jin, wu gong li. Almost. This is more like almost. <laughs> but yeah, this is more numerical though. Jiang jin wu gong li. It's more about the number. So maybe jiang jin wu. Is not quite right. Jiang Jin Jiu approaching the end. Yeah, this one. Um nearly over. Jiang Jin Jiu Lan. Jiang Jin and I was just saying, can you give me more more examples for that? Okay, Ju Jia Dian. I should have asked for no English opinion. Anyway, Zhu Jia Dian, Li Huo Che Zhan, Jiang Jin, Shi Fen Zhong de Bu Xing, Lu Cheng. So this is using time as a measurement of distance. So time when proceeding at a certain speed. Ah, Na Zuo Shan, Li Wo Men de Ying Di, Jiang Jin Yi Gong Li. Nearly a kilometer away. What a Xiang Yu, Jiang Jin, my birthday approaches. Yeah. Chun Jie, Jiang Jin, Spring Festival is approaching. Yeah, this is a verb, isn't it? Hmm. And, okay. So, in the future. So, I'll just get to tell Chad to be fair. Um, okay, uh, Jiang Jin. The other one we need to look at is Jie Jin. Okay. okay. Jie Jin. How do you... Let's go to the next one. Jiang Jin, Jie Jin. Almost uh, Okay, so some special fixed point. Uh, okay, so the this the shop. Um, is nearly a five minute walk from the station, whatever. And my birthday is approaching. Okay, 接近, uh, 更, uh, 通用, 可以用来描述, 
So using 接近 to define 接近，嗯，啊，无论是在空间上、时间上，还是概念上。All right. 他的房子靠近。No, we're talking about 接近 not 靠近。嗯 ，OK. 靠近 is like a box, right? Hmm. Not just approaches, but a box like、uh, adjacent to something. Can I get it? Um, a few diverse example sentences. Or Tianjin, please. Hmm. Uh, this city's garden is very close to our house. So this is a verb. Hmm. Very close to our house. 他的生日接近了，嗯，呃，这个方案啊、呃、接近完美，嗯 ，the proposal approaches perfection， 啊<笑>、呃，他的态态度使得我们感到他不愿意接近我们的观点，接近观点 ，not quite sure what that means， 嗯，啊、呃，孩子们被。警告，不要接近这个区域。嗯 ，OK， so the children were warned not to go near that place. Yeah, so this is more what I was thinking is physical closeness, <laughs> not approximately five kilometers. That's numerical closeness. <laughs> so this Jiangjin、uh, seems to be with respect to time or、um, numerical. <laughs> okay, uh, 况且。况且 is okay.、Um, what do they call it? Conjunction, right?、Uh, where conjunction? Ah,、mm. uh, 况且 Hmm. It's kind of like 而且 What's the difference? Ah,、uh, ah.、Uh, <laughs> 况且 Quang Tie. What's the difference? I don't know. Oh, I didn't mean to. Hmm. Quite. I'm not really wanting to go. Quite. Now it's too late. Hmm. What's the difference? Quite. He accidentally 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 All right. All right. What's the difference? How? What's the difference between 况且 and 而且 I guess I feel like we get taught 而且 early on. Ah,、uh, 不仅而且还有这个吧。况且呢 ？I don't know yet. I can't tell you the difference. They're so similar to me. All right, my internet's having a nap, so let us、um, have a look at. Okay. Quantity. So often the easiest way, or the most reliable way, to tell the difference between two words is to look up their word、uh, definitions in Chinese. 连接分句表示嗯嗯递进关系。递进关系 ，so it's one step further in the relationship. Okay. 嗯，路不算远，况且还是坐车。嗯，准备按时赶到。嗯，这房子太贵，况且地点也不适中。Okay, so it looks like for 况且，嗯 ，you have you you have this argument. And quantity, you extend the argument, where it's artie is kind maybe, whoops, artie is like you have this argument and you have another argument, maybe something like that. 连接词呃短语和分句表示表示后者意思呃比前者更进一层 ，but adds another layer. 嗯，和单用呃前面。呃，成呃有不仅不但不呃不止，嗯，他不但聪明而且 ，so 而且 is more general， 况且 
Hur blir det så? Det är en yfu. Dåla det är. Och det är lite mer dyrt. Är det inte mycket? Är det inte mycket? Okay, so this hai shi doesn't mean or. It's this one of these less common. Yeah, this one had better. It's better if you don't buy it. <laughs> uh, yeah, 不但而且，我爸爸不但哦不但而且 This is like a fixed grammar structure. 不但而且，这屋子很宽，宽敞，宽敞，宽敞，宽敞。嗯，而且。光线充足。嗯、hmm. ，So it seems like the grammar for 况且 is a bit more specific. OK， 况且，呃，通常用于表达呃附加的理由 ，so additional reasoning 原因和情况 ，additional reasoning 呃、uh, reasons or 呃、uh, situations。嗯，呃，强调增加的信息，进一步支持前面的论点。嗯 ，OK， 呃，他的语气呃较为正式，常用于书面语或呃正式场合。嗯，他已经非常忙了，况且呃还有许多工作呃等着他去完成。So she's,、uh, he's already very busy, and moreover, he's got other things、uh, that's waiting for him to do. This city life expense is very high, and the transport is very expensive. So many people choose to live in the outskirts of the city. So, so this is one reason. This is another reason, and this is the conclusion. So there's separate reasons,、mm -hmm. but you could use aritia here, I think, and the same with this one, aritia. Ah, this book is not only content rich, but also aritia is written very strongly. Yeah, so this is not only aritia, not only aritia. Yeah, very, very similar. Um, aritia seems more general though. Whereas with quantia, you're you're making an argument, you're presenting an argument, you're giving extra evidence, justification, etc. Okay, quang quang is 情况的况 There's other words like 再说 yeah, 再说呃再说 is more over, right? 再说 Um, this is a bit more, a bit, bit less formal. Yeah. Oh, maybe that's what I looked looked up in the dictionary. If it's black, 再说再说。嗯啊，去后再说。That's an that's an other. This one 再说 meaning moreover. Oh, 相当于况且 Okay. 况且 All right, next. 乌黑 Um. Okay. So there's quite a few words like 乌黑 where it is a a color or an adjective, and you append a word、uh, or append a character to modify the adjective to make it um. To make it more specific, yeah. To make it more specific, so uhe is not just black; it's pitch black, jet black. So we do it in English as well. You can see, pitch black, jet black. Um, u. What is u? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe it's going to be silly to look up uhe images of uhe, but it's going to just give me black. Ah, uhe, yeah, jet black hair. Uhe to a shufa. Uhe, jet black. So there are other ones like this. Uhe, hmm. Uhe is kind of black, right? Uhe, crow. Ah, uhe ya. Uhe ya. So crow. <laughs> There you go. Uhe ya. Uhe. All right. So what are some other examples? Tong hong, tong hong. Um, is it this kind of color? I guess tong hong. 
，连通红 very red， the red of someone blushing， like 朱红 ，is another one， 朱红。This is 朱红，中国红 ，China red， 朱红，呃，故宫红。This is the red of the Forbidden City， 铁红 ，Bayan red。Um, yeah. So there's a lot for colors. Um, what are some other words like this? This there is a lot. I just can't think of it. Um, basically they mean 和和 pla 一样。红和和 pla 一样 adjective. Uh, what are other words like 乌黑通红 etc. Other、um, where an adjective is appended a character to、um, give more specificity. 哎，火辣啊、oh, ，Yeah， that's a good example。火辣，嗯，辣 is spicy， right？ So 火辣，呃、uh, ， painful heat。Oh， it's not just that spicy， is it？ Maybe that's not the best example because it it doesn't specify、uh, like restrict the scope。哦，呃，冰凉 ，Yeah， this is 凉 means cold or cool， right？ <clears throat> 冰凉 is as cold as ice。Yeah， 雪白，啊、oh, ， that's a good one。As white as snow or snow white, Xie、um, Bai. As white as snow, Hui、um, Hui Meng Meng. Yeah. So there's other ones like this where you put this kind of reduplicated character after it's dusky, over overcast. Ru 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 Ru. No, I don't know. That's not quite exactly. This is the best one. Bing Liang Xie Bai. Xie Bai is another one, but here this is another adjective. There are other ones, but. I don't know. I can't think of them off the top of my head.、Um, I don't know. <laughs>、um, it just means as big as I don't know. As oh yeah, as straight as a tree.、Uh, in Chinese, it's a ju a bi ju. It's as straight as a pen. Can you see that? Sort of bi <laughs> ju, as straight as a pen. Bi ju.、Um, what else is it? These seem to be seem to be as adjective as、uh, noun equivalent to in English. Ju bi, uh, not bi ju, as straight as a pen. Um, as hot as fire, as cold as ice. These are kind of different. T H A I E. So T is paint, right? I guess it's referring to ink here. T H A is another one. U H A T H A. Are they the same? T H A. Oh, okay. T H A. I like. Did they literally just put a black? Uh, a fully black image on the on the、uh, Baidu back、oh, the Baidu Wikipedia、uh, Baidu encyclopedia. All right, yeah, yeah. All right, there's quite a few like that. I don't know. What's your favorite one of those? Leave leave your answer in the comments. <laughs> there's probably many many more that I haven't thought of. Actually, maybe we can just Google it. Because once you've got a few of them, it'll just tell you. Um, uh, BG. Wu Hei. Bing Liang. And we'll just figure out the rest. Xie Bai. Ho Ho. Be quiet. Oh yeah. As fast as flying. Um, don't know about these other ones. Who hated tough? Oh, here we go.、Uh, is this helping? No, this is just a list of words. This didn't. This wasn't、um, as helpful as I was hoping. 
Shibai. <laughs> Is it just not? Hong Hong. Uh, Bilu. Yeah, Bilu. It's Xian Hong. Oh yeah, Xian Hong is another one. Sure dog. Mm, these are kind of mm, different. Xin Xin. Mm. What's this? La Huang. Mm, as yellow as a candle. Hui Meng Meng. Let's click on that. See if we can get some more. Because they're worth knowing, and they get, kind of add to your writing. Um, Hong Ji Lad. Yi Qi. No, I, I, uh, this is like a white, is it? Yeah. Uh, but you don't use it by itself, I think. Fin Fin. This is like one by one, right? Fin Fin. Uh, Lele. Oh, uh, Lele, yeah. This is this is different. This is the one I want. Xue <clears throat> Bai, uh, Yin Bai, Su White, Jin Huang. So, as yellow as gold. <clears throat> Except we saw that one, saw that one. Xue uh, Bi Lu. Mm. Hey, hu hu, Hong Tong Tong, Lu Yo Yo, Lu Yo Yo, Lu Yo Yo. Qing <clears throat> Jing Chao Chao. Oh, Jing Chao Chao, yeah, extremely quiet. Oh, there's this kind of grammar structure. Huli uh, hu So inside your confusion is confusion. <laughs> Something like that. Huli hu tu. Xiao li xiao qi. So in your pettiness is even more pettiness. Xia li xia qi. In your stupidity is even more stupidity. Wan wan chu chu. Bing bing. Bing bing wai wai. Okay. Yeah. So there's quite a few things like that. Okay, next, Shunmi. We actually mentioned this character in the last video, Shunmi. Here, when we talked about Jiao Shi, um, I said Mi Shi. So that Mi is uh, Shunmi, the Mi. Shunmi. Mi Shi, and this one. Uh, okay, this is the same. Me. Me. Yeah, it just means search, right? Me. 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 What is me? Do speak a telling line for a poem? I don't know that one. Me. Ren Tai. Looking for talent? I haven't encountered that one. Me. Jin. Jin is like this, like, bosom buddy kind of thing. I don't know, I think this and this are the only ones you really need to know, at least. <clears throat> That's what, what I've known at my level. Xunmi and Mi Shi. Maybe the others are worth knowing, but I haven't, don't recall encountering them. Xun. Xun is Xun Jiao de Xun, right? Um, there's a little bit Xun. With Xun, you're kind of searching more globally. Um, like you're checking multiple places, I think, but... I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm reading too much into it. The find is Jiao. Yeah, this one. I feel like it's a. It's not just like I lost my keys. You're searching for something. Um, Yeah, looking for someone missing. Wu. Oh, maybe it is. Search for something lost. I lost my keys. Yun Chulu, searching opportunity. I just get the feeling that Shun is a bit more active than Zhao. Um, let's ask ChatGPT. Does it agree with my assessment? Um, I feel that Shun is more more active and broad than Zhao. Uh, is this my assessment correct? Jiao. Mm -hmm. More direct specifics. Yeah, Jiao. So, yeah, so Jiao is more specific. So you're searching for something in particular. What's I Jiao? What a I'm searching for my wallet. Xun. 
you're searching, but it's not so, like your wallet. It is searching for gold or something like that, maybe. Searching for a friend. Searching for the meaning of life. All right. That's, that's pretty out there. So, yeah. Um, okay, so Jiao is kind of something specific, like your wallet. <laughs> um, it's not like searching for a good book to read or something like that. You have the exact item in mind with Jiao. Mm. Me. So, me. Um, what's the difference between me and these other ones? I don't know. Xun Me. Xun Jiao. Xun Chu. Maybe that it's just not used often enough for me to get a much of an intuition what the difference is. Okay, I've been searching for this painting for years. I don't know. I don't, it just means search. Oh, I copied that one down. Alright, that is Xun Mi. I think in the textbook, yeah. I search, the chickens are searching for food. Alright, that'll do for this video, I think. Um Sisi Dadja. Well uh thank you for watching. Remember to like it and subscribe and leave comments as to what your favorite one of those adjectives are. Oh hey Tong Hong Shibai or whatever. I will see you in the next video. Sisi Raja. Bye bye.